Welcome again, ROS developers, and welcome to this uh, video update on OpenAI ROS package, precisely on the TurtleBot 2 videos that we first did for this series. But first of all, if you want to learn anything about ROS, the construct is your YouTube channel. Here you can learn about autonomous driving, manipulation, perception, loads of topics. So please check it out. And I'm Miguel Angel Rodriguez, and in this video, we are it's a more update video on the things that we've done new, and specifically on the the two videos on TurtleBot 2 that we previously did. If you haven't seen them, please click on the the card that will appear around here. And yeah, so. If you don't understand any topic that we're talking about in this video or other videos, please consider going to Robot Ignite Academy where you can find courses on many topics ROS related with simulations ready to run and no installation required. So please check it out. And without further ado, now let's get started. So we've, we've worked really hard on changes Let's, let me close this, on changes on OpenAI ROS. So the first thing is that we have a, a wiki, ROS wiki already running, and we have all the explanations and tutorial, that basic tutorials to get running. So please check it out. We also have a page in the construct with all the robots that have supported this uh, OpenAI structure. So if you, if you want to look that up, please have a look. Uh, and now, remember that OpenAI ROS, we have it in the, in the Git, it's publicly available. So there you'll find all the updates that we've done and I'm going to talk about now. So if you want to have a closer look, there you have them. And then we have this OpenAI example projects kit, which has exploded. We have loads of examples that we'll do in the, in the future weeks and months. Uh, all the examples that you have here and much more um, to show you how you can use OpenAI ROS for loads of robots, yeah? So, the topic. We're going to start with this project, with this project, project which is called TurtleBot 2 Tutorial OpenAI ROS. I'll share the link in the description below. Okay, so let's open the IDE so we can see the differences and so on. Okay, so the first difference basically has been the simulation. We've changed the simulation. So if you go to select launch file and launch main, it will now launch the new version. I suppose we'll change it in the future. But for the moment, this is the version of the simulation that you find if you download the, the public simulation. While it's loading, let's talk about the code. There have been many differences, but basically it's the structure. So OpenAI now has a different structure, which is based on robot environments and task environments. That's everything is described in the in, in the wiki, in the Rosh wiki. But basically, robot environments is everything that has to do with the physical robot or simulated robot. Which, for the moment, we have all these simulations supported, and all these simulations are available, and we'll do tutorials on all of them. But we're going to concentrate basically on the task environment because this is what was affected by this change in the structure and is something that you have to know if you do a new task environment for yourself 
using robot environment yeah so if we go to turtlebot 2 the maze you can see basically there have been some changes on how the algorithm works and the task so i won't talk about that there are minor details but basically it's the way you access the the entry points so how, how do you register stuff so previously we had only to do openai ros task environment so openai ros and then directly turtlebot maze environment which is this one now we have to put all this path so if you want to do a new task environment you will have to um, bear in mind this new structure here okay and well basically that's the biggest one of the biggest changes is the fact that now we have the task environments divided like this so if you want to um, do your own task environment and put it in the in the git do a pull request and so on uh, you'll have to follow this structure yeah otherwise it won't find this structure was changed basically because this way you you can load only what you need yeah okay so here we have the new simulation so as you can see the simulation is now with bricks and essentially what you have to do is launch a new uh, training script for that you have to use you can use whatever you want but you have the git that we talked about the openai example project you have examples of all the the robots that we support all the simulations and all of them are available publicly so you can download it and here you have your turtlebot 2 openai ros example and if you have the launch you have to launch this start training which launches the main system uh, the one that it's declared in openai ros yeah so we have to go cat in workspace then we do a source devil set up bash and then we do a uh, ROS launch the name of the package which is turtlebot 2 openai ROS example Close it oh, sorry. and then start And there we go so now it's learning how to go through the the maze and some fixes have been made for, for this and in the future it will be updated but basically that's more or less the changes that you need to know and the updates on all the infrastructure of openai ROS so I hope you you found this video useful especially for the people that saw the first videos so that you're updated to the new structure this structure will be maintained now for for the months to come so all the new robots will follow this structure of um, of this task task and robot environments okay so everything from now on will be like this so thank you for watching please leave a like if you if you like the video and consider subscribing we public videos every day about ROS related topics so that's it for now and thank you for watching hasta la vista